Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the Greenwich panel in the US dollar. And as you can see, we're down 0.25% at the moment, and we're heading towards the 20 exponential moving average. We're testing the middle of the bullish band. If that basically breaks, then we could drop towards the bottom of the bullish band, which is just above the 40 exponential moving average. If you look at techni technical indicators, they are all turning around at this current stage, so the momentum is definitely to the downside. We have tested re this resistant area several times, have not managed to break through, and now we're basically pulling back. MACD is bearish, uh, RSI is bearish, uh, CCI is flat, and the stochastic is bearish at this point. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. And as you can see, we have also tested the resistant line here. It looked like we were, we were going towards 110, but got rejected. And now we're just above the 20 exponential moving average. We hit the nearly hit the middle of the bullish band, but it looks like um, same here. Things are basically turning around and we are most likely going to retest the previous lower levels. So MACD is still bullish, but it is turning around. RSI is bearish, the CCI is becoming bearish, and so is the stochastic. Break below the middle of the bullish band could open the door all the way down to uh, 0 0.108, and, and that is a drop roughly 0.81% to the downside. So let's look at the euro US dollar. We can see that we have tested yet again this resistant area and did not manage to break through. We did test it here and it was also a previous um, area that was really difficult to get through uh, back here. This was in January in 2021. So we tested it, got rejected and at the moment technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, as the RSI is flat, the CCI is still bullish, and the stochastic is about to cross the signal line. But if we break below the 20 exponential, then we could drop towards the 40 exponential moving average. And that's a drop of roughly 0.78% to the downside. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. We can see that we have rallied significantly from the 150 moving average, and the 150 has been massive support in this market, as I said several times. You can see it bounced here, bounced here, and we got really close also here and bounced every single time. So there are several areas of um, resistance above, especially 0 0.78 is going to be an area that is going to be really difficult to get through. We have we are still just trading sideways. We did test 150 because it's traveling this way, but but we have not broken below or started trending underneath the 150. So still we're trading sideways and uh, momentum is still kind of to the upside. MACD is turning around, still uh, bearish. The RSI is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is becoming bullish. So let's look at the US dollar and uh, the Canadian dollar. You can see that we broke down towards uh, 1202 and then we rallied, but still right underneath the 20 exponential and uh, between this um, resistant line where we have right here. So we got up towards the middle of the bullish band. If we break above that, then we could head towards the top. It's a rally of roughly 0 0.65% to the upside, but it won't really go very far from here. So usually, we are still in a downtrend and we can stay within an area of either the resistance line or the support line for some period of time, as you can see right here and here, before we either rally to the upside or break to the downside. We're pretty much within this channel still, we haven't broken out. If you look at the other technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bullish, we can see the RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is technically flat at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck and thank you very much.